Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Econobox Garage as we continue with our bug eye build. In this episode, I'll be looking at the rear valence and the right hand side lower quarter panel as my parts order from Frog Eye Spares in the UK has arrived. We're we'll doing a bunch of cleaning of things like the oil pan and all the miscellaneous stuff, but I won't bore you with uh, the video on that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this week's video. So the patch panel for my lower valence arrived today from Frog Eye Spares. Um, I'll put a link to his, his website in the description below. And so that goes on from basically halfway down the number plate to uh, the bottom of the, of the body here. Now this is all pretty mangled up and that, so that's why I decided to replace it. It is a big dent in here. Now as you can see, the rotisserie mount is actually in the way. So what I'm going to do is build essentially a sawhorse that will sit directly under the spring plates down here on both sides and uh, hold the back of the car up so I can take all of this out of the way uh, temporarily while I do that repair. And once that repair is done, then I can put it all back on the rotisserie to finish up all the other body work. The other bits that arrived today in that order were the patch for the lower quarter panel on the right-hand side of the car. The closing panel that goes to the in behind this one and just as a precaution I may have to replace one section of the, the beading so next up is to build my support for the back of the car so now I've got the back of the car off the rotisserie and I just rigged up a pallet which just out, ended up being almost the perfect height and I just put some OSB braces on the or gussets, I guess, uh, to give it some stability back and forth. And that is holding up fine. Now I'm going to take off this bar, and then I can get to work on replacing that bottom half of the panel. So this is the rear valence patch panel. I've just marked it out uh, with a bit of tape coming down from the top edge. And then this line indicates where the bottom will be once I get it trimmed and in place. So I marked an equivalent spot on here so the top of the tape matches the top of that panel. So the plan is I'm going to cut along the bottom of the tape here and then that will give me some extra metal to play with um, on here. That cut will basically be along uh, this line here uh, on the panel. So I'll get that cut out. I'll just have to cut a couple of welds where it's tacked onto the boot floor uh, along the bottom here. So this is looking where the floor of the boot joins that rear valence panel. So it's been, I just have a couple of welds to cut along there. And then uh, I have a new panel for here and that uh, outer as well. So next up is I'm going to be cutting these welds along here so that I can remove that uh, lower part of the rear valence. So I've spent some time having a look at this uh, back end of the car here. And this is the edge of the, the boot floor just below. This is, there's the number plate recess there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out this entire lip across here right to about this spot. Um, I'm going to leave this corner in. I'm going to take out the reinforcing brackets here and here and make some repairs on those. Now because I bought the panel to replace this whole corner, I think I am going to take it all out. I was initially just considering taking it out to where it's uh, rusty. But uh, I have discovered along the line here that the car was hit at one point on this corner. So if I pull this out, get these brackets out of the way, 
it'll give me a chance to do a proper repair down in this corner. I know it's hard to see in the the depths of the boot floor here, but uh, that. So that's the course of action for now. So I'm going to pull these uh, brackets out. I've had some penetrant on the bolts that are holding them in. And actually, you can see this hole here. There's a hole in the bracket that they push down on the floor. Those should line up because that's where the bumper bolts in. So you can see it uh, doesn't quite do so. So before completely cutting out uh, this spot here, I thought I'd better give myself some reference points uh, for this corner for when I go to put things back on. So what I've done is I've put a couple of marks or on the quarter panel. So it's 54 centimeters down from that point down to here. And then from there up to this point is 50 centimeters. And then it's also 127 centimeters from this spot to this equal spot on the other side of the car so that way i've got some way to locate it sideways with the other two marks this one and this one it gives me uh, triangulated uh, down to to that spot there so now i feel a bit more comfortable going ahead and finishing cutting this out Now that I have that uh, inside closing panel and the quarter lower quarter off, I can see I've got a bit more work in store for me than I had originally thought. So I'm going to have to replace the edge of the boot floor along here, and I'll just carry that right around this corner and all the way down, uh, That as I mentioned a bit earlier. So I'll replace this whole part here all the way through here and put this lip back on. These are the reinforcing brackets that I pulled out a little bit earlier too. I think what I'm going to do with these is just order replacements. Um, I don't think they're uh, too expensive. Yeah, but like one, there'd be one, two, three captive nuts to replace on this one, two on here, and it's uh, you can see it's not as straight as it should be. I think that will also help me to uh, figure out where all of this stuff along here is supposed to go. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of our Bug Eye Build. Over the past week, I did get a bunch of stuff all cleaned up in the, the parts cleaner, and I'll continue working on uh, on those things like the valve, the um, things like the valve covers, the tappet covers, the oil pan, and what have you. So, uh, getting all those cleaned prior to get the engine back. The engine block is currently at Cetus Automotive here in Calgary. And they're hot tanking it, cleaning it up, and assessing the bores to see uh, what I need to do moving forward with that. And now that I have a better idea of, of what I'm dealing with at the back end of the car, uh, there are a couple of parts I'm going to order uh, to do that. And I'll do a bit of more research to make sure I've got the, the shape at the back of that boot floor correct so that everything goes back together as it should. So hopefully next week I'll be putting things back together. In the meantime, please be sure to like if you have any questions or suggestions, please be sure to leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, 
Hit that bell icon so you'll get notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.